Now, Center Point is working around the clock to restore power to the more than 800,000 customers still in the dark. Center Point did add a restoration map to its website so you can estimate when your power is coming back on. But we've gotten viewer emails asking why they don't, why they don't have power, but the person across the street does. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't make sense, right? So let's take a look at how power restoration is supposed to work. CenterPoint says they will start by surveying damage. That means using helicopters, drones, and inspectors on the ground. That's supposed to tell CenterPoint where to send crews and what kind of supplies they will need. It will also set up staging sites for crews during this time. Those staging sites are supposed to make dispatching crews more efficient. Before the survey is complete, the company says they will start working on restoring power to vital services. Think hospitals, fire stations, and water treatment plants. As they continue, CenterPoint says it will prioritize repairs that will bring the most people back online. So a transformer will get priority over a line to a single house. If power has been restored to your neighborhood, but you still don't have electricity, you may have something called a nested outage. That means there is likely an equipment failure at your house. That failure could be your weather head, which you are responsible for fixing if it's damaged. If you're not sure what a weather head is, it's often attached to a pipe on your roof and is where overhead electrical lines connect to your home. Okay, something else. Remember, do not touch your weather head. If you think it's broken, call an electrician to come out and then repair that for you. I'm not touching that thing.